All right, good evening, Council, and uh, anyone else that might be watching us tonight. This is the regular Council meeting of this November 16th, 2020. And would you all please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Kirk, Clerk, call the roll, please. Mizak? Here. Rhodes? Here. Saunders? Here. Kochi? Here. Sphinx? Here. Janudis? Here. Pluharty? Here. Council, you have the minutes of the budget work session of October 26, 2020. Any corrections to that? Seeing none, can I have a motion for acceptance by Spink, second by Janudis? Clerk, call the roll, please. Mizak? Abstain. Rhodes? Abstain. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. And you have the minutes of the work session of November 2nd, 2020. Any corrections? I abstained on the wrong one. <laughs> Pardon? I abstained on the wrong one. Oh. <laughs> well, that's all right. It passed. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> So uh, to, for the work session of November 2nd, 2020, any uh, corrections to that? Oh. Seeing none, can I have a motion for acceptance by Spink, second by Fluharty. Clerk, call the roll, please. Knizak? Abstain. Rhodes? <clears throat> Abstain. This one's the right one. <laughs> Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinx? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy. Yes. And you have the minutes of the regular meeting of November 2nd, 2020. Any corrections to that? Seeing none, can I have a motion for acceptance? By road, second by Saunders. Clerk, call the roll, please. Nizak? Abstain. Rhodes? Abstain. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Okay, under old business, ordinance number 9827-20. Uh, being in ordinance to make appropriations for current expenses and expenditures of the city of Bedford, Ohio during the year 2021 and declaring an emergency. And it's our wish to put that on second reading because we still have more budget hearings to go. So I have a motion for second by Mizek, second by uh, Rhodes. Clerk, call the roll, please. Mizek? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Sorry. Uh, Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Binks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. And we have ordinance number 9828-20, an ordinance allowing employee participants to make insurance plan premium contributions on a pre-tax basis for the calendar year 2021 through Health Equity Wage Works and declaring an emergency. I have a motion for suspension by Saunders, second by Janudis. Clerk, call the roll, please. Mizak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. And motion for third and final by Sphinx, second by Mizek. Uh, I'll take this. Frank, you under that? Yep. Yeah, this is our uh, hospitalization uh, 
deferral plan. It's a pop plan. It's called it's a premium only plan. And so the uh, payments that the employees make uh, to the plan uh, included in the union contracts requires us to have those tax uh, <clears throat> taxes uh, deferred in regards to those programs. So I uh, ask council to pass that this evening so we can put the plan into effect. And that's something we've been doing for years and years. Annually. Yes, yeah. annually. Mm -hmm. um, clerk, call the roll, please. Mizak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Chinudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ordinance number 9829-20, an ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with Bain Enterprises to purchase a valve maintenance trailer and declare an emergency. Can I have a motion for suspension, please? By Spink, second by Fluharty. Clerk, call the roll, please. Mizak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudas? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. And motion for third and final by Saunders, second by Mizek. Uh, Mike? Mute, mute. My apologies. <laughs> um, valve maintenance is obviously an important part of our asset management. Um, and our valve exercising programs. It's also, um, it is encouraged by the EPA. The piece of equipment that we were able to locate and um, be offered a 10% discount will allow our water department to exercise and, ma and maintain um, all of the valves and these, this part of the infrastructure. It's very important when we have a water main break, if we, if, if we encounter um, any valves that some of them are very, very old that are frozen or inoperable, it actually increases the amount of area that is effective. Whereas if, we get, if we're regularly maintaining and replacing these valves, this piece of equipment will allow us to do that in a much more efficient manner. We then can make sure we're addressing that form of the infrastructure. This way, when we do encounter a break, we can isolate that break and it obviously affects the, the least amount of residents or businesses um, in that area. So we, based on the, um, the um, use for this and the discount being offered, we recommend moving forward with this purchase. Thank you. Any questions? Seeing none, clerk, call the roll, please. Isaac. Yes. Rhodes. Yes. Saunders. Yes. Kochi. Yes. Sphinx. Yes. Janudas. Yes. Blue Hardy. Yes. Ordinance number 9830-20, an ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with Liberty Ford Inc. to purchase one new 2020 Ford Explorer and one new 2021 Ford Explorer and declaring an emergency. I have a motion for suspension, please. By Spink, second by Rhodes. Call the roll, please. Mizak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Tenutis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. I have a motion for third and final by Saunders, second by uh, Rhodes. Uh, Mike? Uh, yes, Mayor. Thank you. Um, what we're looking to do is we have two. Um, currently, we have two Chevy Tahoes within the fire department, both of those um, over 100,000 miles. Um, they are utilized and they are equipped um, as response vehicles if needed. Um, we are looking to replace those two vehicles. We are downsizing, as you can see with the purchase of the Explorers, but they will be able to um, hold all of the necessary equipment needed um, in those vehicles. Will that We will utilize... Um, the Tahoes, we're going to be moving those to other uh, departments and getting rid of other vehicles that are much, much older. One of those Tahoes is going to be replacing a 1998 um, Blazer, uh, and then the other will be determined based on 
um, other parts of the fleet that need to be replaced. So we're still going to utilize what's there, but we're looking to upgrade um, and th these two vehicles. Thank you. Questions? Clerk, call the roll, please. Nizak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. And now we come to reports. Uh, Mike Mellis, city manager. Thank you, Mayor. A couple things real quickly. First, um, anyone with any comments or questions, feel free to email citymanager at bedfordoh.gov, and we'll uh, read those at the end of the meeting. And again, that's citymanager at bedfordoh.gov. Um, just want to give an update, uh, for, friendly reminder, um, Leaf crews are making their way through town. They've gone through once, and they'll be making um, multiple um, pass-throughs um, as the weather cooperates. Um, the one thing that we do ask, and we, we have experienced it, we're seeing a lot of individuals put those leaves all out onto the street, and those block the catch basin. So please, um, I know you may not want it on your tree lawn, or it may, may be there for a week or so, um, we're going to get to them as soon as we can, and we're, we're going to be going through. We're right now on our second pass through, um, but it, uh, it will do more damage if those leaves are, are in the street, make their way to the catch basins and sewers. So uh, definitely would appreciate uh, that cooperation. Um, we are making our way, as I mentioned to council earlier tonight, um, our contractor is moving through the majority of the streets as far as our sewer uh, maintenance and televising program. Um, that's the program that's $150,000 through a county grant. Um, at the end of last week, they finished um, moving through about 18,000 feet of sewer pipe. Um, we've cleaned, they cleaned roots, um, televised it, and we did receive uh, a draft report that we'll be looking through. And obviously if there's um, issues that we need to come back and address, the city will be prepared to do that. Um, but they are they are nearing completion, and once we get the final uh, report, we will share that with uh, council. Um, we're going to be putting a, a post out there, and you know it's definitely challenging. But we're going to be having a, a virtual public meeting uh, to discuss a couple upcoming grants that Jennifer Kuzma and our economic development office is going to be looking into. We have a fifty thousand dollar grant. Uh, that we can apply for through the county, and we have a hundred and fifty thousand dollar grant that we can apply through um, through the county. Both made available uh, through Cuyahoga County. We're going to be sharing some ideas with City Council, and then obviously sharing some of those ideas and welcoming any feedback at that public virtual public meeting. So we'll be sending that information out. Look for that. It'll be on our on our website as well as social media outlets. If you would like to uh, listen in and watch or you can always send us an email with some of uh, some questions. I do want to um, acknowledge real quickly, I, um, our recreation department, Aaron Fatch, um, and partnering with the Bedford City School District. Um, obviously it's challenging times um, with school closures, um, but the schools are doing a, offering a, a, a program to bring a company in to help tutor kids. And Aaron is working to provide a safe atmosphere for that to take place at Ellenwood. Um, so I know the schools just started advertising that. Um, it started last week and I'm, I know they're gonna increase the numbers. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they were able to work that out and, and really try to find, create a safe environment. And it's good to see the schools um, offer that program up to those in the district that um, are interested. Um, and from a long term, I think from a collaboration standpoint, it's good for um, the city of Bedford and the schools to work together. Um, and I'm sure it's going to lead to future programs. So kudos to, to all of them. Uh, I know there's been a lot going on with updates regarding the COVID-19. Um, and there's new state programs that have been released, new grant programs that have been released. And I urge everyone, please go to our website. That website is updated multiple times a day. Um, applications, links to, um, if you have a question, if you need anything, there's a, a request for service 
um, information you can fill out that comes directly to us and we can work to assist you. So please, if you have any questions, concerns, or just looking for regular updates, visit our website and there is that COVID-19 hub. And lastly, I just want to mention, we're gonna be putting something out in the coming days uh, regarding our um, holiday display down on the commons. Um, our holiday display is going to be um, lit like it always is lit. Obviously, there's going to be some challenges this year and some changes. Um, we will not, there will not be refreshments. Unfortunately, we will not have Santa. What we are doing is we are going to be live streaming that um, lighting. And we urge all of you in the public, please, when we send the information out, take advantage of it and watch it online. And simply sit back, have a cup of hot chocolate, and you can watch the square get lit like it typically is. Um, and then schedule a time that's convenient for you and your family to come down safely um, and socially distance safely. Um, so the event is not gonna be like it, it has been in the past. Hopefully we'll be there in 2021. Um, but again, look for those in, that information going out. It's gonna be live streamed. Please take advantage of that for, for a safe environment and you know, schedule a time that you guys can come down on, at your own convenience. With that, end of report. Thank you. Thank you. And I will pass around from along from our law director, uh, John Montello. He said to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and to uh, be safe and take care of yourselves. Good enough, John? <laughs> pass that word along. He's camera shy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Gambosi, finance director. Okay, not too much tonight. We're going to, we're continuously going through the budget of the 2021, uh, continuing to work with council and trying to finish that up. It's uh, very uh, challenging for next year, let's put it that way, with uh, COVID. And uh, we are also working on the tax department, is working on letters going out to everybody, uh, asking for filings and non-filer letters. Please pay attention to those letters and respond back. Uh, we'd like to clean up all our records. And finally, I wanted to say to everyone, happy Thanksgiving and many happy holidays coming up. Thank you. That's my end of my report. All right. Council reports, uh, Mrs. Mizek. Thank you, Mayor. I, uh, it's good to be back. I'm sorry I missed the uh, last meeting. Uh, mainly, happy Thanksgiving to all. Enjoy your time with your family if you do it the right way. Uh, this will be, it's kind of hard this year for a lot of families because of the uh, rules and regulations that are set, but it is important to get this COVID under control so we can enjoy our lives in the near future, I hope. Uh, Mike, you already touched about the leaves. Uh, down at this end of town, we get more than enough leaves from the park. If there was some way yesterday's windstorm could have blown them back up to the trees, I would have been so happy. But instead, I had a drift of snow uh, leaves instead of snow in front of my garage door before I could take the car out. But that was my own personal ha-ha uh, for tonight. Uh, on the good neighbor guides that we have, uh, made up and so, uh, made and possibly distributing them. Do we distribute them or will they all be mailed out to the residents? Eventually we will get these mailed out to the households. Um, they'll also be incorporated in our uh, uh, new resident uh, packet that we have passed out in the past. And there's some up here at City Hall at the counters, but we, we are gonna be working on doing a direct mailing um, to each address in town. Thank you. I already took a few and handed them out, but I was just wondering how how many we should have to hand out on our own. So I just, you know, asked you that. Thank you so much. Uh, beautiful Thanksgiving to everybody. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Rhodes. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Um, I do want to tell everyone to have a happy Thanksgiving. Um, enjoy the family if you get to see them. Uh, I would also like to remind you that after you've had your Thanksgiving turkey, uh, it's Small Business Saturday on Saturday. Um, this year we don't really have a Black Friday, but um, we can have a Small Business Saturday. A lot of your shops, it's going to be just one or two people in there, plenty of room to social distance. Uh, and especially this year, these shops need your help. Uh, they need you to come out and shop local 
Um, you see the sign behind me here. Uh, yes, we are reopened. Um, if you live in Bedford and you love Bedford, shop Bedford. Uh, not just our downtown area, but anywhere in Bedford. Um, you know, maybe order some takeout, uh, get yourself uh, some gifts. We have some very lovely shops. We just had a couple of shops open this past week. Um, we're very excited about them. Come on down and see what we have to offer this Small Business Saturday. That's November 28th. Uh, you can come down anytime during the day. You can come see the Christmas lights, uh, you know, get a little treat from uh, one of the shops and, and just do a little Christmas shopping and help support the, the businesses that help make Bedford special. Um, the Bedford Downtown Alliance is, is also looking for volunteers. Uh, you know, if, if you're at home and you're wondering what to do, uh, we have things that, that you can help us with. Um, you know, things that you can stay home and do, things that um, you can get on meetings on Zoom and do. Uh, it doesn't have to be in person. Um, if you're interested in volunteering, please send us an email at stories at bedforddowntown.org. Uh, that's stories at bedforddowntown.org. So, um, and that's all for me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Saunders. Yes, I just want to wish everybody a happy and a very safe Thanksgiving. Be careful on your family gatherings. Uh, there are CDC requirements that are out there now. Make sure that you follow them because if we all do a decent and safe Thanksgiving, hopefully things won't be all shut down by Christmas because it's beginning to look like things are gonna shut down. Several states on the West Coast have already shut down uh, almost everything. Uh, there's counties in Ohio that are have bills pending to shut things down right now. So uh, if we all do our part, we should all be able to get through this together and still have a reasonable holiday season. So everybody take care and don't let the turkey be the only thing stuffed. Have a good, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Spinks. I uh, piggyback on what Don said. I hope everybody has a very uh, safe Thanksgiving. We plan on uh, Zooming with our grandchildren. Our granddaughters are real excited about it. We'll sit down and actually eat together, but just won't be in person. It'll be on Zoom. So we have games planned. There's so many things that you can do. Um, they're um, advising that you, you know, that instead of everybody bringing something, have individual things for a safe uh um, gathering if you do have a small family gathering everybody um, don't pass the stuff around don't uh, pass the spoons around do individual serving so there's a lot of things that you can do where you can still enjoy your family uh, very safely um, so I hope everybody has a really safe Thanksgiving like Don said so we can get with our families and celebrate Christmas um, Mike I called you today the car carriers are getting out of control. Today, there was eight at the end of Grand. There was one on one side, one on the other, then across the street, getting out was absolutely crazy. I understand, I know these guys are limited, but seriously, all of that at one time, I sent you pictures that I could get. It was very dangerous. That's a dangerous place anyway because of the curb and um, the car's parking. You know, I sent you the thing on the car that was parked on things for over three months and the police took care of it and it lasted for about two weeks. Pushed back on the street blocking people being able to get in and out we had a u-haul truck parked right in front of a, a no parking and right in front of a, a power hydrant all day long today it's just you know i know our guys are out there i know they're they're trying but we've just got to really do something about that um and mike is there can you kind of give us a guesstimate of time on when we're going to be able to get those flashing stop signs for these people that are just not paying any attention. I know our guys are out there. I know they're giving tickets. I, I see it on the reports. But uh, again, 
I know that there was a crash this this weekend, or and there was one that came down grand Friday night. I mean, you heard him just, and, and another one came right behind it, speed just right past each other. It's it's just crazy. So do we kind of have a guesstimated time? Well, I know it's taken time, but. Uh, we ordered them. I, I inquired it with PD at the end of last week. So I know they were looking into when we should receive the shipment, but um, I'll try to provide an update uh, yeah. in this report. I know with COVID, everything's running behind. I mean, it's it's really crazy on getting things. Um, I want to end my report. I saved this for the last bit of my report. So in case I break down, it will be at the end of the report. My heart goes out to the family of my little buddy, Ryder Boozer. Ryder had a disease called San Filippo. And he was my friend that last year we had Ryder Boozer Day. He was a big Paw Patrol fan and just loved the fire department and the police department. And with the disease, it's it's just it affects the brain and different things. So how I kind of got friends with them, there was a thing on Facebook asking for this special stroller because he, he's very hyper and very fast and stuff. So the fundraiser was met and they got the special stroller. But I wanted to reach out to the family and do something else. And actually, the family lives in, in Paula's ward. And... I became very instantly just attached to this little boy. It was, took a big part of my heart and he passed away Friday morning. So I just, my heart goes out to his family. I know he's a little angel up there looking down, but the fire department guys were just for his birthday, his sixth birthday, the guys in the police department just went out of their way to make this little boy's birthday very special. And I thank them in the report. Thank you. Mr. Janudis. No report, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Fluharty. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the Bedford City Schools Foundation is having a silent uh, auction for the holly ball that they have every year. Um, I got, you can register at bcsf.cbo.io and a bidding bidding opens at noon November 29th and closes at 9 p.m. December 4th so it's a whole week we have over 100 items and uh it's a silent bid thing that you can get you get a number and then you go ahead and bid on something and uh it's for the kids at the high school we have scholarship we get a lot of scholarship money towards that and it's a good good cause and since this year we weren't allowed to get together with this, we normally do at the party center. We're trying this a different way and hopefully uh, we can still raise a little bit of money for the kids. And you don't even have to buy anything, but at least go on and uh, take a look at all of our items. There's bikes and everything else. And if you're looking for something to buy someone for uh, Christmas, this is a good way of doing it without having to go uh, shopping. Um, and it, it also, uh, like I said, it, it benefits all the kids, but, uh, so I just want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, you also can check this out on our city website or the school website uh, to get that uh, registered uh, information. Thank you. Thank you. And again, I just want to echo with everybody else, say happy Thanksgiving. Have a nice, safe and secure one. And uh, we'll move on to do business. Ordinance number 9831-20, an ordinance providing for the adoption of new matter in the codified ordinances of Bedford to approve, adopt, and enact the October 2020 replacement pages to the codified ordinances of Bedford, Ohio, here, here and after codified ordinances, to repeal certain ordinances in conflict therewith or deemed obsolete and declaring an emergency. And can I have a motion for suspension, please? By Januta, second by Fluharty. Clerk, call the roll, please. Mesak? Yes. Rhodes? 
She's muted. You're muted, Rose. Heather. You're muted. I know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. A yeah, motion for third and final by Mizak, second by Janudis. Um, Mike or Frank, you want to take this? Uh, yeah, Tracy would say the same thing. Basically, they're uh, the uh, lawyers that we hire and the people who review our ordinances, uh, as well as John, uh, look at the uh, updating all the information so it could be into the codified ordinances of the city of Bedford, and they'll be able to publish that uh, put together, and we do that annually. Yep. Tracy, do you do it more than annually or just annually on that? I do it, I think, three or four times a year. We do it three That's like that. Okay, because I thought we did it earlier this year. Yeah, All right. but it's updated monthly, but just the books are updated every three months. Oh, very good. Okay. Thank you. We did. Yeah, we need that passed tonight, correct? Yes. Okay. Questions? Clerk, call the roll, please. Mizak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy. Yes. And ordinance number 9832-20, an ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with senior transportation connection and declaring an emergency. And can I have a motion for suspension by Blue Hardy, second by Rhodes. Clerk, call the roll, please. Mizak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. A motion for third and final by Misak, second by Janudis. Uh, Mike? Uh, yes, Mayor. This is just a continuation of the original agreement that we entered into. Uh, with Senior Transportation Connection in 19. Uh, the service has uh, proven to be um, very good. We've received um, tremendous feedback from those utilizing it. Our numbers of util utilizers have gone up. Our utilization of that, I should say, has gone up. We have increased numbers of those registered. Um, and the cost to the city of Bedford has actually decreased um, over a one year span. So um, we recommend obviously continuing the, the, the contract. Thank you. Questions? Seeing none, clerk, call the roll, please. Mizak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. And we have resolution number 2557-20, a resolution authorizing the city manager to seek financial assistance from the Ohio Public Works Commission State Public Works Program to fund a capital infrastructure improvement projects and declaring an emergency. And I have a motion for suspension, please. By Flu Hardy, second by Janudis. Clerk, call the roll, please. Mizak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. Motion for third and final by Saunders, second by Spinks. Um, Mike, you want this? Yeah, I'll actually, I'll, I'll kind of touch on both uh, this one and the next resolution. These are... Okay. Uh, the first one is a resolution supporting the application uh, that we're working with and supporting Cuyahoga County, uh, who's applying through OPWC funds to resurface all of Union Street. This is actually from Broadway to Broadway. Um, obviously, we're supportive of this project. It's the county's intent to uh, resurface this next year and are submitted an application um, to try to utilize some of these funds to offset the costs. 
the second um, grant application that we submitted is for the same grant. Um, it's a little bit different. It is a small request for grant funds and, and um, a, another request for a zero interest loan. And that project is for the replacement of the water line throughout the historic district that starts just prior to five points and runs uh, through the historic district down Broadway towards Union. That water line was put in in the late 20s, 30s. Um, and then that grant application also um, includes electrical repairs throughout the historic district as well. So I just wanted uh, that those resolutions are supporting um, the applications. Thank you. Question, Don? Yeah, Mike, uh, on that water line going down Broadway, will it go under the tracks so we don't have any trouble over there in the future? Or will it stop short of the tracks? We replaced, so we replaced the one that when we did Union, we stopped just on the opposite side. I believe this one stops just before the tracks, but I can double check, Don. I can double check on that. Because then we'll have that section under the tracks that's not done. And it, it would be advisable, I think, to get that done once and for all. I, I will uh, recheck those plans. I thought it stopped just before, but I, I can... Uh, I can push to see what we can do for that. All right, thank you. There was one other piece I I, I was reluctant. I, I forgot to mention in the report, um, and we were talking about electrical. Um, we are just about complete with all of the new lights um, all down Willis Street behind the buildings on um, in the historic district. Those go all the way down Willis and turn onto Taylor. And there's also been a couple that have been replaced on Broadway, right by the Handyside House. Those were the old decorative lights that we got um, working through NOPEC. They've been switched over to LEDs and that's just about complete. So uh, Don, you asked me last week, last time and I, I, I wanted to follow up. So my apologies, I forgot it in the report. No, I appreciate that because it's been very, very dark down there. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Questions? Seeing none. Clerk, call the roll, please. Mizak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudas? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. And we have resolution number 2558-20, a resolution, a resolution authorizing the city manager to seek financial assistance from the Ohio Public Works Commission State Public Works Program to fund a capital inf infrastructure improvement projects and declaring an emergency. Ah, the mouthful. <laughs> and I have a motion for suspension. By Rhodes, second by Spinks. Clerk, call the roll, please. Mizek? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Fluharty? Yes. And a motion for third and final by Saunders, second by Mizek. Um, and Mike explained this one. So we'll go right to uh, clerk. Call the roll, please. Mizek? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Blue Yes. Okay, and we have resolution number 2559-20. Resolution strongly opposing Senate Bill 352 and House Bill 754. Legislation proposing the repeal of Section 29 of 197, which will result in a myriad of unintended consequences through Ohio's entire municipal income tax system, cause a substantial loss of revenue that will impede the ability of municipalities to provide for the health, safety, and welfare of municipal residents and businesses, and thereby jeopardize the future economic growth of the state of Ohio. A motion for suspension, please. By Saunders, second by Fluharty. Clerk, call the roll, please. 
Mezeb? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Blue Party? Yes. Okay, could I have a motion for third and final? By Saunders, second by Sphinx. Uh, I'll take this one. Yes, Frank, yeah. uh, you need to explain all that. I'll do my best on this. I'll do the shortened version. The Ohio Municipal League has uh, offered uh, all cities to take a look at their um, Section 29 of House Bill 197. In regards to that, currently the state did see earlier that um, it was important not to have the uh, major cities, the major economic hubs of our, of our cities and of the state of Ohio uh, to not have the ability to refund back out to uh, those who are not working uh, in the major cities. They wanted to keep the uh, withholding uh, within the cities and the major cities with the businesses. Uh, City of Bedford itself would stand at an economic uh, hardship in regards to this, uh, looking at a refunds of um, approximately about 650000 analyzing our top 10 taxpayers uh, in the city that are withholding correctly right now. So in this regards, what we're saying is we want to continue the uh, withholding to continue to stay in the cities where the uh, main bricks and mortar are at, uh, not those at home. And uh, therefore, in the best interest of the city of Bedford, uh, we would want no changes to the current uh, laws that are in effect right now. Correct. Any questions? Seeing none, clerk, call the roll, please. Mezak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Sphinx? Yes. Janudis? Yes. Flu Hardy? Yes. Thank you. All right, now we come to hearing of citizens. A reminder, if you have a comment, uh, it's citymanager at bedfordoh.gov. And Mike, do we have anything? Yes, we do. Um, I will read the first one. Uh, first one is from uh, Catherine Chach, board member for the Bedford Downtown Alliance. She sent in Saturday, November 28th, marks the 11th annual Small Business Saturday, a celebration of small businesses and the positive impact they have on communities across the country. American Express, American Express, having created Small Business Saturday in 2010, proudly works with organizations and independent businesses to provide solutions that support communities and uplift local economies. The holidays might look a little different this year, but we can still show up for each other. The Bedford Downtown Alliance would like to remind the Bedford community to support the shops and restaurants in our Bedford downtown this holiday season. Supporting our local small businesses makes a big impact. Spend your money where your heart is in Bedford. Share joy, shop small, and live, love, buy Bedford this holiday season and all year long. Thank you. I think that was well said, Kathy. Yeah, very, very good. Thank you, Ms. Chach. I'm looking. I'm announce uh, Ms. Chach is actually going to be the new president of the Bedford Downtown Alliance. So. Oh, very good. We very thank good. her and we congratulate her on that. So. Yeah, very good. There, there is a, a email from um, a Bill Balser. Um, hope all is well and safe regarding storm sewers. Are, are any of the grant funds available to fix or alleviate backup sewage into some homes and businesses? Um, I don't, uh, Bill, I'm not aware of any uh, specific grants for that. Um, but there are some, um, I will touch base with our service department. There's some avenues that you may be able to take or depending on uh, if there's ways that the city can assist too, we can um, obviously uh, look into that. So I will uh, reach out to you and uh, see what I can find out. Thank you. Anything else? That appears, one more refresh. That appears to be it. Okay. And with that, I want to thank council for uh, meeting tonight. We had a rather long one. Uh, and I appreciate your uh, 
tentativeness and uh, need a motion for adjournment by Spink, second by Saunders. Clerk, call the roll. Mezak? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Saunders? Yes. Kochi? Yes. Spinks? Yes. Renudis? Yes. Blue Hardy? Yes. That ends our meeting. Thank you all.